Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I want to talk about focusing on things that matter in web design, things that matter most in web design, and stop focusing on the non-essential things. Okay, this is this is a topic that um, I've always wanted to talk about. I never got around to, but um, recently I just started thinking about this, and uh, I think it's important that that I share this with you guys and um, just just talk about in web design there's a lot of things a lot of non-essential things that can can kind of draw your attention and you can get distracted by those things uh, me personally I built my whole career on not following um, on doing things my way uh, for example I've been designing websites for 14 years now and for 13 of those years I've designed on a PC. PC, you know, one of the cheapest PCs um, that were available at the time. Um, uh, for a large portion of my career, or for, yeah, all of my career, um, I designed using fireworks instead of Photoshop. Okay, when everyone's using, um, you know, Macs, uh, I was on a PC. When everyone's using Photoshop, I was using fireworks. Um, about, 10 years ago, or actually in 98, um, I was like a year and a half into to, uh, working for a, a company called Thomson, which is now Thomson Reuters. And um, I was managing a portion of their website for a company called Elite within that business. And uh, one of the developers there told me, they knew that I was like energetic about web design and I was just now getting started. And uh, they told me, they said, you better start learning flash because all of the websites are going to start you know all of the, everything's going to go to flash soon so um, he goes because you'll be out of business or you'll be obsolete if you continue to focus on on static websites and i'm thinking okay you know i never so to make a long story short i never really learned flash and i stuck with my static websites fast forward like 14 years later and I would love to, to meet that person or see that person and then have that discussion again and show him all of the things that I've built by just sticking and using uh, building static websites. And the reason why this is valid because it really doesn't matter if you have a static website or a flash website. What matters is if the end user has a good experience and they can actually make a purchase or uh, the brand is improved by the website that they're looking at. It doesn't matter how the website's coded, you know. And this goes for like uh, big discussion on tables versus divs. A lot of a lot of people. When every time I, I I do a blog or I do something when it's it involves coding, people say don't use tables or don't use divs or do your CSS this way. It's like guys, please stop focusing on the non-essential things okay in all of my career I've never had a client view source and say you have an inline style or you have a table um, in this particular section you know you're fired or okay that never happens so why do people focus on those things is is beyond me um, uh, what else? There's just you know, another thing. I was uh, browsing. I was browsing the the internet, and I like hip hop. And I was watching this video on YouTube, and uh, one of the comments said, you know, it was like a new. It was a new artist, and one of the comments said, "Why does this video only have fifty eight thousand views?" Meaning the guy was worried about why the video or why this artist didn't have more views. Then it, then, it, then it was displayed, right? And I'm thinking, why does it matter? Why does it even matter if the video has one view? The fact that the video was there for you to enjoy is good enough. Why are, why are we, as people, concerned about uh, comments that people write or things that, that are non-essential? Like the video views are non-essential. The fact that my videos get likes or no likes or dislikes, does that really uh, mean anything to you? No, it shouldn't. It, what what should matter is if the information is presented well and if it's valuable to you and if you can use it for your life and improve your career. You know, those are the type of things. So uh, it got me to start thinking about like 
uh, whether or not um, you know comments are even valid I know people like to leave comments and and say thanks I know a lot of my video comments are uh, I think 99% of them are are uh, extremely positive and I thank all you guys for that um, but I question I, I kind of think about whether or not I should I should turn the comments off and those of you who watch my videos and find it valuable um, you wouldn't worry about the comments you wouldn't worry about liking my video all you would do is worry about whether or not the content and the information that I'm presenting to you is valid and whether or not you can use that in your life and use that in your career okay um, so those are the type of things I think about so in terms of web design what I say is focus on the true the, 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 the essential things focus on the user experience focus on whether or not the site um, works well if it's create if it has a good user experience if, if it's well branded if uh, users can use the site without problems if they convert on the site these are the essential things that every website and, and, and web designer should be focused on you shouldn't be focused on whether or not you use an h1 tag here or, or not or if your paragraph tag is broken those are non-essential things which which can easily be fixed and and uh, be be worked with, worked on uh, in many different ways you know everyone can code a site in a million different ways everyone can design a site in a million different ways it doesn't matter what program you use etc 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 okay so think about the essential things think about Facebook uh, over 700 million I think 800 million people are on Facebook and no one really cares about how Facebook is coded you no know, no one views source on Facebook all we care about is whether or not we can post a comment to our friends and whether or not the user experience works well if it does we go on about our business and we enjoy that particular site okay we don't focus on the non-essential things we don't focus on whether or not someone created this site on a PC or Mac or whether or not someone used tables or divs or someone used um, you know Photoshop or fireworks to design the, the graphics in the, in that product so Okay, so I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. There are many non-essential things in everything that we do in life. Um, so I would say in web design and just in, in all of life and things that you do, go about your daily business, don't focus on the non-essential things. Focus on things that make, that make sense. Focus on the end result. Focus on what matters most and uh, what's the bottom line, okay? What's the end result? Um, and, and how does it affect that and that's what you should be focused on so in web design focus on the end user experience focus on the 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 brand look and feel focus on those elements don't focus too much on on, on don't get too bogged down on on how to create this button okay um, you know or how to do this how to do that. if you can't create the button go and buy it you know go to ISOC photo and download a package of buttons for a dollar you know beautiful buttons and learn to design the buttons later you know don't focus too much on the non-essential things focus on the global thing alright so just wanted to talk about that and uh, hopefully you've gotten a little a little bit from 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 this video and uh, you can uh, kinda use it in your daily process in your daily lives alright thanks for watching we'll talk soon bye